All right, guys, so a lot of persons have been asking, hey, how can we afford this? Yo, we don't have the money. Yo, how poor people can pay for this? A few persons have left this comment, so I'm going to put you on game now how you can get this done. See? All right, first up, you are going to invest in the solar panels. Put down those. Buy them them down saying solar panels nothing will happen to them nothing can to them as long as they're stored properly next thing you want to do is purchase an inverter spend time do the research purchase the right inverter you don't want to purchase one that is small and then later on you have to go take that out purchase another one that's going to be a waste of money all right if based on the appliances you have or you know if you don't know you talk to a professional call me I'll, I'll gladly give you information i'll gladly you know advise you as what to do you can ask anybody they call i give them the information um based on the appliances that you have i'll tell you all right yo you can't work with a six or you can't work with an eight right so purchase the panels put them down store them properly purchase the inverter all right purchase a smart hybrid inverter now what you're gonna do with that after you get everything all right before that Purchase the racking system and then the the, the um, protective devices, all right? All right, as soon as you get all of that in place, and that should cost you about anywhere from 500 to 700,000 for those, right? Remember, we're putting up a proper system in place, not something that you're going to have to change out a few months after. So, yeah, back to it. As soon as you get the panels and the inverter, then you're going to set up a system. So you're going to set it up as a system without battery. And that's why you need the smart hybrid inverter because it can be used that way. You can set it up that way. Pretty much like a grid tie system. So in the daytime, you're going to have power from the system. But in the nighttime, you're going to now fall back on GPS. So for example, in the storm here, in the daytime when sun came back out, you would have had power to charge your phone, run your refrigerator, whatever. So that's how you're going to set up the system. That's a budget around five to 700000 for the inverter and the panels, right? After you go on to that, you save a little money for your light bill and you use that money to now save, save, you purchase a battery, right? You can purchase a five kilowatt hour battery and then you would have storage not enough not a lot but you have some form of storage what you do at that point is to now reconfigure the system as a storage system because you have your battery now so again you start off with your panels and your inverter first set up that it's going to be like a grid tie system but you need a smart hybrid inverter for that right so you go back to your die inverter, your Luxpower inverter, your Mega Revo inverter, and your Solar X. That's another very good inverter. Solar, yes, but Solar is on the very expensive side. So we're gonna leave that out for now. But your die, your Luxpower, your Mega Revo, those are good inverter, and also Solar X, very good. They have a split phase inverter now, and um, I'll touch on touch more on that. Right. So, yeah, you set up that system as a grid tie, go on, save, purchase your battery, then you add your battery to the system, then reconfigure it as a storage system, All right? And then as you save more, you can add another battery. So that's one way you could do it, All right? That's one way you could do it and start off. If you don't have all the money now to just purchase a system outright and get it set up, you can buy them lick lick. But the first thing you purchase, the panels, and the inverter and you can set up once you have them put on nothing not wrong with the panel once you have the inverter stored properly nothing not wrong with the inverter um and then the last thing you buy are your battery yeah 